A few weeks ago, I was invited to a screening of a restored print of a movie from 1956 I'd never heard of. The film was On the Bowery, a groundbreaking kind of pseudo-documentary filmed on location in New York's Skid Row. The director, Lionel Rogeson, spent months on the Bowery without his camera, just getting to know the homeless, drunk, and forgotten men who made the sidewalks, alleys, and doorways of the Bowery their home, many of whom were World War II veterans. He eventually began shooting with a small crew, and the result was as groundbreaking, honest, and painful as it was revelatory. Unflinchingly gritty documentary footage of America's lost men wrapped around a scripted story featuring two real-life Bowery residents, one who's new to the place and an old-timer who knows it all too well. The men are Ray Salyer and Gorman Hendricks, who essentially play versions of themselves. Ray, both the man and character, is an itinerant railroad worker, younger, healthier, and more handsome than the other winos, but with a tragic drinking problem. Gorman, an older man and alcoholic who was once a doctor and a journalist, takes Ray under his wing to introduce him to the neighborhood, just as Gorman had done with Rogeson during his initial research for the film. The movie follows the men over three days as Ray attempts to clean himself up and find work, only to be thwarted by his drinking. Gorman, a contradictory mix of gentleness and manipulation, spends most of the days visiting with other winos and seemingly pondering where his life is headed, joining Ray at night to keep him off the wagon and help drink up his money. It's a pretty bare story, and the dialogue between Ray and Gorman is often stilted, but the power of On the Bowery largely springs from its stunning documentary imagery. Any frame of the cracked, scarred, dazed, dirty faces of the Bowery men could be hanging in a museum. Men in bars shout and fight as they down their drinks until they pass out on sidewalks, in doorways, or a flop house or mission if they're lucky. Men whose brains are so pickled that they're reduced to raggedy babies, unable to stand up and unaware of what's happening around them. In a way, these images made me think of Dorothea Lange's iconic Depression-era photos come to life, or if the Grapes of Wrath had been made using actual documentary footage and real Dust Bowl refugees. The images in On the Bowery were ones America had never seen, and many would prefer it remained hidden. Despite an Oscar nomination and being the first American film to win the Best Documentary Award at the Venice Film Festival, On the Bowery struggled to find distribution and was attacked by several critics. Our victory in World War II was supposed to demonstrate the superiority of American values, but On the Bowery challenged that by showing that the greatest city and the greatest country in the world was still allowing its citizens to die slowly on its streets in abject poverty, a charge that still rings true today, especially during our Great Recession. On the Bowery also demythologizes the idea that World War II was the quote, good war where soldiers returned home to a grateful nation that showered them with education and jobs, when the reality is that war had shattered the lives of many of these veterans, who were suffering from post-traumatic stress that wouldn't be diagnosed for decades, so they turned to self-medicating with alcohol. It's hard to imagine what it was like to see On the Bowery when it was released over 50 years ago, but the film is now duly recognized as a cinematic milestone, one of the greatest independent films of all time, and a film worthy of preserving forever in the Library of Congress's National Film Registry. But more than that, seeing On the Bowery reminded me of what I love about movies and why I do these reviews, because a great film has the potential to change the way we look at our world, our country, our history, and ourselves. And once that's happened, once we see things in a more truthful light, we have the power to recognize them for what they are and change them for the better. On the Bowery is an unearthed treasure of living New York and American history in a film not to be missed. I'm Jonathan Kim, and this is a Rethink Review.